In this tutorial, we'll be writing a Python script that grabs color palettes from the internet and saves them into a JSON file. Hey, I'm Viktor Stepanov. I'll be guiding you through this Python tutorial. Today, we're going to be using the Color Lovers website, and in particular, we're going to be using their API to grab color palettes from their site and save them into a JSON file. Originally, I saw this implemented in JavaScript by Matt Delarier, and I wanted to create a Python script version of this, and here it is. Our script is going to be using a special Python package that will connect to the Color Lovers website and then download the palettes. The very first thing that we need to do is set up our development environment. I'll be using VS Code for this tutorial. If you need help setting that up, I have separate tutorials on that. I'll link them in the description. Before we dive into our script, we need to install the Color Lovers Python package that we'll be using. You should open your terminal or command line and navigate to an empty folder where you're going to be writing your script. For example, I'm using Windows and I have uh, the eDrive projects folder and then get color palettes as my folder that I'll be using for developing this script. Before I install our package, I want to create a virtual environment so I can install that Python package into that. To create this virtual environment, I'll type in python minus m, vm, and then dot env. So dot env at the end is the folder that I'll be using for my virtual environment. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to take a second. And as soon as that's done, I can go into VS Code. I already have VS Code open and it noticed that I've created a virtual environment. So I'm going to tell VS Code that you should use that virtual environment. I'll continue our setup in VS Code. I'll hit control tilde to open the terminal at the bottom of VS Code and then type in pip install color lovers and then hit enter to install that package. Okay, now that package is, is installed, we can start writing our script. The very first thing that we need to do is import the wrapper for the color lovers API. And that's just gonna be from color lovers import CL API. Next, let's create the wrapper object. Now we have the API wrapper object. Let's use it to query a color palette. I'm gonna first create a variable that's gonna represent the number of palettes I wanna request. And I'll use number of results for that variable name. And then next I'll use the CL search palettes. Request is gonna to be top, so the top palettes on the website. And I'm gonna use this uh, request, the number of requests, and set the keyword argument num request to that variable that we just set up. And then the results I'll add into a separate variable. And let's go ahead and print that out. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna add the pretty print module. And let's go ahead and print that out. So that's going to be a list and I want to access the colors in that first entry like that. And now we're ready to run our script. I'm going to go into run and debug and then select run this Python file. And if you look at the terminal down below, you can see that we got a color palette. All right. And this was just one color palette. Let's see if we can get 200 color palettes. I'm gonna just go ahead, save that, and then run the script again, and return one color palette again. We don't really see the number of color palettes, so let's go ahead and print the length of the result. I'm gonna use len, and then print out the length of the result. So run that again. And you can see a strange thing happened. It's showing, it's showing me that I only got 20 color palettes back. And that's because the maximum color palettes that you can the maximum number of color palettes that you can request from the Color Lovers API is 100 color palettes. So let's go ahead and check that. So I'm going to go and try to do 101. I'm going to rerun that script. And again, uh, I'm getting 20 and 20 is the default number. So the Color Lover API is just ignoring what I'm requesting and giving me the default. Okay, so 100 is not, 101 is not working. Let's try with just 100 and run that script. And now you can see we have 100 results. And with this basic code set up, let, let me move this code into separate functions and we can continue after that. Okay, and I created a new main function and then put all the code that we're working on into a get color palettes function and I'm calling that from the main function. Now I wanna define some variables that, that will track how many color palettes I actually wanna download from the, the Color Lovers website. And I'm going to create that new variable right here. And I'm going to call uh, the target palette count. 
I'm gonna be passing in, passing that into our function as an argument. And for this particular tutorial, I'll be requesting 200 of them. So I, I'll need to do something extra right here in this call to make sure that I'll get 200 color palettes. In the get color palettes function, I'll create a new list to track all the color palettes that we've retrieved. And I'm just gonna call it color palettes. And next I'll just remove this because we don't need it. And I'll create a while loop that's going to be looping over this request until we get the number of color palettes that we want. And I'm going to be checking that uh, until we get the target color palette count, we're going to be continuing to loop. And since we're going to be sending requests to a live server, it's going to be great if we're going to add a slight timer so we don't spam the server with requests. And actually, I'm going to move this second, this weight right here. And uh, I'm just gonna be sleeping for 10 seconds before each one of those requests. Of course, you can set it to uh, something that's lower than 10 seconds, but I would highly recommend to respect the color lover server and not spam it with your requests. All right, now the next challenge is how do we get to 100 color palettes if we can only request 100 color palettes maximum? Well, there is another keyword argument right here that allows us to set an offset of the results. So if we wanna get the next 100, we need to offset the results that we're gonna be retrieving by 100, right? So, so we're gonna define the result offset and we're gonna use some index. We haven't defined that just yet. And we're gonna use the number of results. For the very first request, this is gonna be zero. Let's go ahead and define that up here. So that's gonna be zero the very first time we call it. So we're gonna start with the very first color palette. And after that's done, we're gonna just increment this by one. So next time we're gonna offset it by the number of results, right? And then we're gonna just continue that in a loop. And you know what? I don't wanna wait the very first time we do the request. So I'm gonna add an if statement here to check if this is the very first request or not. So we're gonna make sure that we're not gonna be doing the sleep when we run our first request. And right after we get our color palettes, I'm gonna make sure that we actually retrieve something before we continue with any kind of processing. And this is this is gonna be the check. I'm just gonna make sure that we have at least one entry in our color palettes result. And if we don't, we're just gonna continue through the loop. After getting the color palettes back from our request, we need to extract those color palettes and add them to our color palette list. I'm gonna go ahead and define a new function up here that's gonna be doing that extraction for us. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this. And here's the function, I'm gonna call it extract hex triplet color palettes. I'm gonna be passing in the object that we got from the API. We're gonna be passing in the target color count. And then we're gonna create a new list right here and then loop over all the results that we got. And then we're gonna make sure that the number of colors in a color palette is gonna match the thing that we requested. We haven't defined this just yet. We're gonna do that in just a second. Uh, this means that each color palette on the Color Lovers website might have a different number of colors, right? So it could go from three to five to something else. And I wanna keep things consistent and make sure that all, all of our color palettes have the same number of colors in them. And this, this right here is doing just that. Then if, if that satisfies our request, we're gonna make sure and append a list of those colors and add the hash character right here to that list. And after we have went through all of the color palettes, color, color palette results, we're gonna return that back to whoever called this function. Okay, let me go ahead and set this function up in our while loop. And we need to pass in the target color count. I'm gonna create a new variable right here. I wanna have five colors in our color palettes. So that's there, we're passing that in. Let me go ahead and save the result into the result variable. And then we're gonna extend our list with the result. And then finally, we're just gonna return that list. Okay, let's make sure that everything works. I'm gonna get the resulting color palettes here, and then I'm gonna print this out with a pretty print statement. And hopefully I got everything right. And I did not, I forgot to import time because 
because I've added it right there. Okay, let's try that again. And looks like our script successfully finished and you can see we have 200 color palettes right here. Okay, now it's time to start saving all these color palettes into a JSON file. And I'm gonna be calling this function right here and I'll define it above right here. And I'll just fast forward this for you. I've called this function save color palettes to JSON. I'm passing in all the color palettes that we've retrieved from the Color Lovers website. I'm passing in the target palette count. And we're double checking that we're passing in a valid list uh, right here. And if we do, then we start the process of saving the color palettes. I'm gonna be first creating a folder that's gonna be right next. So I'm using the double underscore file and using the parent. So I'm getting the parent folder of our script and right next to it, I'm gonna be creating a palette folder. We're gonna make sure that we're gonna create that folder with this statement right here, mkdir. And if that folder already exists, that is gonna be uh, all right. Next, we're gonna be creating the path. We're gonna be we're gonna be using the target pa palette count the number, and then creating the name of that JSON file with this. So this is the path. We're gonna open it for write, and we're gonna get that object for that particular file. We're gonna dump do the JSON dump of the color palettes. We're gonna make sure to slice it to have to to contain the color, the number of color palettes that we requested, and we need to slice it right here. Uh, and I'm doing the slice because uh, not all the top color palettes have five colors in them, right? And we'll need to potentially request more color palettes than we actually need. So to make sure that I'm gonna get the exact number that I've requested, I'm gonna do the slice. I'm gonna indent to make it nice and pretty uh, with this indent four. So this, at this point, is just a bunch of JSON text and we can just go ahead and write that out into that JSON file. Right, and let's go ahead and call this right here, like that. And uh, before I forget, I need to import uh, the JSON module. So I'm gonna go uh, above right here. So we're not using pretty print, I'm just gonna replace that. And I think that should be good enough. And we need also to import the path object. And we're importing, and we're importing the path right here for the path lib. And I think that should be enough for this script. Let's go ahead and make sure that it runs. Okay, it finished running. Let's check the color palettes. And you can see now we have a JSON file that's full of color palettes. All right. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out this short right here. Thanks for watching.